2019 was the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. New York police officers stormed the Stonewall Inn on Christopher Street and began aggressively searching the bars, patrons arresting and outing them, placing their names in the local newspapers, destroying lives and careers. But on this day, people fought back and forcing society to take a hard look. In 2019 in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, fascist with crosses came. To the Pride celebration themed the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. With signs and shouts of comparison of the LGBTQ community to child molesters, they planned to disrupt the celebration in March. There was no security police stood back on the Antifa. These fascists will not be allowed to destroy our day I dedicate this song To the bravery of those who refuse to just be beaten down When the fascists in their guard Bearing round their necks Bibles in hand Shouting and screeching We're all committing sin The Bible says no to homosexuality And child molestation they try to box us into one thing, screeching that we are no different than child molesters. Little did these fascist fools realize that all of us had fought for human rights and very lives, enduring physical assaults and accusations. The situation heated up and brave souls fought the fascist back. The damn mayor of Hamilton at the time didn't care, oh yeah. Afterwards they brought in the police, screeching, we don't care about the violence, we just want it to end. If the police had been there from the start, these fascists never would have been able to do us harm, and we would not have had to use force to defend our rights. But this reality is typical in parts of society to this day. They, they see us as sin and filth and want our rights taken away. There's been a rise in fascist ideals and it's getting worse. From threats on buses to outright assault. The city can brag that they've made a change. Fencing and pride events having security. But any one of us who has gone through life knows quite well That these fascists always have us in their sights The schools in the city deny the facts Kids in the schools that are LGBTQ Have been murdered right on the streets A boy running out of the school to his mom was stabbed and died in her arms Oh, we think we may have a bullying problem in our school Or, or excuses like we don't have an LGBTQ problem in our school Complete denial of reality Including the denial that older LGBTQ folks have always we've been treated bad from when they were kids to this very day compared to child predators and afraid to babysit their nieces or nephews in their own family with realization that some fascist or bigot will cause them grief now don't get me wrong Life has improved since the days of some fall Respecting our human rights and recognition A demographic of society Including recognition of gay marriage Which the fascists fought against Costing millions and millions of dollars Why couldn't this money have been spent helping the Research Society Society 
They should be convicted in a lawful trial. They should be sentenced to death. They should be lined up against the wall and shot in the back of the head. That's what God teaches. Life is improved since the days of Stonewall. Respecting our human rights and recognition for demographic of society. Including recognition of gay marriage, which the fascists fought against. Costing millions and millions of dollars.